Hello, this is Katherine Dubberly, the answer lady. I'm a big fan of Kiss Looms. I greatly enjoy mine. And I am cooperating with Kelly at Kiss Looms to make you a playlist of all the basic techniques that you might ever want to know on all of the looms. So welcome and enjoy. This is done with short rowing. If you've made socks, you've used short rows in the traditional way to create the heel and toe shape. But this is the same technique used very differently. What I'm really doing here, and I will show you how, is knitting four ordinary rows. There are some purl stitches at this end, which is why they look different. That's to keep the edge from rolling. Then interspersed with those four ordinary rows, that's the green ones, and they're just stripes, really. We do our short row sequence. This is going to be a cheerleader skirt. See my last short row sequence down there? I'm going to lift the yarn, making sure to do it with a gentle hand so that the float that develops between the two is not long enough to cause any trouble or short enough to restrict the fabric. And it does not. It won't be a problem. So that's how I lift it up. Then in this particular case, it might be different in others, but I'm going to wrap needles three, two, one, counting from the right. This would be one, two, three. So I wrapped three, two, one, and I'll knit them over. For this particular pattern, I am not slipping the edge stitch. So next row, I wrap and knit needles one through five with the contrasting color. This is going to be a cheerleader skirt for an 18 inch doll. I'll have a pattern available for it shortly. And you could enjoy knitting that in any colors you want. Let's go to four, three, two, one. But there are other ways to use this besides a cheerleader skirt and the heels that you already know about. Any place that you want to put something that flares more at one edge than at the other, you can short row. And if you're doing it on one edge and you want to, you can change colors and get this effect. This is the last row of our short row series. And we're going to do needles one, two, and three. So to review, we began with needles three, two, and one. The yarn started on three. That's important because I want to keep the yarn tail, well, the float that forms away from the hem so it won't be noticeable. Three, two, one, knit them off. One, two, three, four, five, knit them off. Four, three, two, one, knit them off and finish with a one, two, three. Now I'll just lay my yarn tail for the working yarn back there and resume knitting normally with my green yarn for four rows.